person's life. One has to look deeply into the mirror of one's soul and decide one's unique truth, not as we may want to see it or hope to see it, but as it is. And so my truth is that I am a gay American. It's remarkable how grace works in our lives. You know, when we're broken, we begin to understand that there's a potential to have a different value shift, to live a different way. That's when I see him, I get so happy because he's just so uplifted. His love radiates, like, and you can tell that it's genuine. What a journey it has been for Jim McGreevy since he stepped down as New Jersey's governor back in 2004, now with a pr prison ministry. That story is told in the new HBO documentary, A Fall to Grace. And we're joined now in our Sunday Spotlight by Jim McGreevy and the filmmaker Alexandra Pelosi. Thank you both for coming on. And, and, and Jim, turn back the clock 10, 15 years. I imagine when you thought ahead to 2013, you thought a lot more about the White House than a women's prison. Sure. I think that was the driving impetus to think about politics and the inevitable, or what would, I would hope to be the inevitable next step. Um, but the blessing of 2004 and my resignation is that I had the opportunity to reassess my values, what was at my core. And a dear friend said to me, if you could do anything at this point in life, think about pursuing what your passion would be. And I think when I was in high school and also law school, I thought about, you know, entering into the priesthood, the Jesuits then. And so I had an opportunity to reassess where I was and go deeper into the, my sense of values. So he, he calls it a blessing, Alexander. You describe him as a broken man. And I guess what a rich story to show how a broken man uh, creates a path to redemption. Right, just in time for Easter. We're trying to put the idea out there that everybody deserves a second act. Everyone deserves redemption. We've all made mistakes that we're not proud of, and we all think that um, in this time of year, it's good to talk about getting forgiveness for our sins. But it wasn't easy to convince him to do this, huh? No, he never really <laughs> wanted me around. <laughs> The first time I went out and I met him and his partner, and I said, I'd like to make a movie about you, and they said, please go away. <laughs> no, and, um, but here we are two years later. Exactly. So he wore you down. She, she did, and what was so special about Alexandra was the trust that she incurred with the women. Because we, at some point, we actually took a vote in the jail and said, do we want to continue this? Because Alexandra and a little handheld camera was in their faces as they talked about some of the most difficult aspects of their lives. And she gives meaning and purpose to these women and if any good comes out of this, George, hopefully it's that, you know, as we drive by those high concrete walls with barbed wire, we understand there are human beings behind those walls. And America's 5% of the world's population, but we're 25% of the world's incarcerated population. We're number one, we're ahead of Russia and then Rwanda. And so I think what Alexandra's film shows is the importance of providing treatment, particularly to the 70% of persons behind bars who are active addicts. You know, when I, th when I first heard your story, I thought thought about Chuck Colson, who also had a prison uh -huh. ministry after his own brush with a uh, political scandal. What is it about this ministry? It's redemptive, as Alexandra says. And for me, I remember when the dean of the seminary suggested I do prison ministry. Frankly, it was a safe place for me to go because I didn't think I would be subject to recrimination. And then you spend time with people who are broken and you see the sense of goodness within them, but you have to work with them. And I also achieve a parallel blessing, they working with me to move to a more, what I would perceive, godly place. And everyone can see a whole lot more of the story in A Fall to Grace. It's going to air this week on HBO Thursday. And I thank you both for coming thank in. You.